Welcome this morning guys. Today we have some Black Rifle Coffee Company coffee. Got high recommendations from a couple of people I know. I'm not usually a coffee drinker unless I hunt, uh, which means I gotta wake up early ass in the morning, which is not one of those days. Also got this cool French press duber right here for a low, low price of ten dollars. Um, never used one before, so first time for everything. We're gonna see how this bad boy works. Uh, coffee featured right here is the uh, sniper's hide. It looks like they say it's a low blend, uh, kind of my speed because I'm slow. Got some big old pot of water here boiling, 32 whole ounces. Uh, so let's uh, kind of see what's going on there. Uh, pretty dang lady to try to figure out this bag opens up, so we're just gonna cut it open. I have no idea how much coffee to put in this thing. Um, uh. Oh shit, oh damn! Oh shit! So you're talking to a guy who usually makes instant coffee by throwing it in boiling water and letting it distill. They told me that is not the correct way to make coffee. Uh, so I guess we'll have to see. Back here is some uh, good old fashioned parboiled eggs and ham hocks. Ham hocks. Alright, so we're going to throw in, uh, I don't know, four tablespoons, I guess. I think is what the recommended dosage is for 32 ounces. Uh, they said to weigh it out, but uh, I don't really have a scale. You know, I'm not a drug dealer. But four seems like a lot. But you know, what do I know? Uh, not too much, it seems. About coffee, you get all these little grains here because it's expensive shit. All right, I'm gonna go here to my pot, scalding ass, boiling water. Uh, I guess I'm gonna. Move this bag right here just in case another accident happens. Uh, and I'm just gonna pour this bad old mumbo jumbo up in here. Here we go. Man, I hope I'm doing this right. I might be screwing it completely up. Damn it, must have poured out too much water. They're probably about to tell me not to do this. I probably shouldn't do that then. It's probably too much coffee for what it is. Alright, now they said to let it steep for four and a half minutes. And we'll go from there. I think that's the right word. Four and a half minutes is what I was told. Remove the frothy up top. I'm running a video here. So. 